Hey, welcome to the CodeKid Minecraft Mod installation video. This is the Windows PC installation tutorial, so if you're on a Mac computer, go ahead and click on this video I'm putting on the screen right now. My name is Marshall. I'm an instructor and a developer at CodeKid. We teach kids how to make mods, so this question of how do I install mods comes up a lot. At this point, we've helped thousands of people install Minecraft mods on their home computer, but it can still be kind of a tricky process and errors can occur, so we decided to make this video to help people out. In this video, I'm going to be covering three different topics. First, what is a mod? Second, how do I find mods? How do I find safe mods without viruses? And third, how do I install mods on my computer? This video is going to both teach you how to install mods you made yourself, either at CodeKit or at home, or mods that you found online that you saw your favorite YouTubers playing or you heard your friends talking about. So first, what is a mod? Well, mod is just short for modification, okay? And that's just when someone changes the code of Minecraft. You can think of Minecraft kind of like a book with 10 chapters. And you read the book, it's a really good book, but when you finish the 10th chapter, you're kind of sad because you know you want more stuff, you want more content for the book. So you write your own chapter and you put it in the back of the book, chapter 11. That chapter is a mod, okay? Minecraft's not really a book, but the principle still applies. Mods are just things that people write to put on top of Minecraft, extra code that adds new things or improves things inside of Minecraft. So, how do we find safe mods to download? Well, if you're trying to install your own mod that you developed, you can skip this step because that mod's gonna be safe because you know you made it yourself and you know there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're trying to find mods online, let me show you a couple tips on how to do that. Since we're looking for Minecraft mods online, we need to open up a browser. I'm gonna be using Chrome, but you can use anything you want, okay? And we're going to be going to a website that I like to use called Minecraft mods.com okay so type that into your browser or just google minecraft mods and hit enter all right and you should get to this website now a lot of people are concerned about downloading a mod that has viruses or malware or something else like that in there it's always a good idea to have a good antivirus program on the computer you're trying to install stuff on okay if you're using a newer version of windows you probably have a windows antivirus program already installed but the best thing you can do to protect yourself from uh, viruses and other stuff like that is to just be a smart savvy internet user and know what to look for. So my rule of thumb I use when I'm trying to install mods is that I only install mods that I made myself or mods that are popular, meaning thousands of people have downloaded and reviewed them, and if that many people are playing the mod, then it's probably pretty safe. This website has all sorts of great mods, but if you're looking for the popular mods, you can go over here to the right, and there's a bunch of them listed here. I'm gonna click on lots of mobs, because that sounds pretty cool. And looking at this, it looks like it adds a bunch of different mobs to Minecraft, which is super cool. I wanna add that to my copy of Minecraft. So the first thing we should do is check and make sure that's a fairly popular mod. We'll come down here, and at the very bottom you can see it has 417 votes, all right? That means a lot more people have downloaded than 417. It means it's pretty popular, and the rating is pretty good. The comments don't say anything about viruses, so I think we're safe. And the next thing we wanna do is make sure that this mod uses Forge, because there's lots of ways to install mods in Minecraft, but Forge is the easiest and the most popular, so we're gonna be showing you how to use that in this video. Looking up here at the top, this mod says, requirements, Minecraft Forge, meaning it's a Minecraft Forge mod, which is good. The next thing we wanna check is the Minecraft version. There's lots of different versions of Minecraft. It gets updated every few months and different versions of Minecraft mods won't work together. You need to make sure that all your mods are using the same version of Minecraft. This Minecraft mod uses Minecraft 1.8, which is perfectly fine. We can run Minecraft 1.8. The only issue would be if we wanted to run two mods and one of them was 1.8 and one of them was 1.7. So make sure you're downloading all mods of the same version. If you're using a CodeKid mod that you made with us, either from an online course or from a summer camp, then it's most likely going to be a Minecraft 1.8 mod. Okay, so now that we've confirmed that it's a pretty safe mod, it's very popular, uh, it uses Minecraft Forge and it's using the same version as our other mods, 1.8, we're good to download it. Again, you can use a different version of Minecraft, 1.7, 1.9, but for right now, I'm gonna be focusing on 1.8 mods. So, to download this mod, we're gonna come down here to this orange button at the very bottom that says download. Now, you'll notice there's an ad here that says start download. Don't be fooled by that. This is just an ad. We're looking for this orange square right here, downloads. We're gonna click on that, okay? And that's gonna take us here, and it's going to start downloading this mod for us. You can see down here in the bottom left, it says uh, IOM or Oh, LOM for lots of mobs. Jar. Uh, you know, your browser might ask if you want to keep it. It might be a dangerous file. We want to click on keep because we've already verified it's a pretty safe mod. And it's going to finish downloading. We're going to leave that alone for now because next we need to download Minecraft Forge, okay? So to download Minecraft Forge, we're going to go to a website called files.minecraftforge.com. 
Minecraft4Download.net. Alternatively, if you don't want to type all that out, you can just go ahead and Google Minecraft Forge Download. But I'm going to type that out, hit enter, and you should make it to this website that says Minecraft Forge and have the logo right here. So if you remember, we downloaded a Minecraft 1.8 mod, and you can see the Minecraft versions right here, it says 1.8. If you downloaded a 1.7 mod, you're looking for 1.7.10 probably, a 1.9 mod, 1.9. But like I said, we're looking for 1.8, so we're going to click on this, scroll down to 1.8, and click on that to go to that page. All right, now it says downloads 1.8. And we can download the latest version of Forge or the recommended version of Forge. I recommend the recommended version of Forge because it's more stable, less bugs, stuff like that. We're looking for the installer win button. Okay, we're gonna click on that. And that is going to take us to this page. Now, be careful, don't be fooled. Everything below this black bar up here is an ad. Do not click on these buttons. We're looking up here in the top right and we're waiting for this skip button to appear, okay? This is a page that allows Forge to get some money every time someone downloads a uh, downloads Forge, which is important so they can keep developing it. But don't be fooled, this is just an ad. So we're gonna click on skip in the top right. And that's going to start a download here, and we're just gonna wait for that to download. It should be pretty quick, only 3.5 megabytes. And when it's all done, we can go ahead and click on it to start it running, all right? And that should bring up this page. We can close the browser, by the way. That should bring up this uh, Minecraft Forge installer. Okay, we're gonna make sure that install client is checked and we can leave this box alone. We're just gonna hit okay, all right? And it may take a minute or so, but it's gonna download and install Forge for you really quick, all right? Successfully installed client profile, we'll hit okay. Now, before we can install that mod that we downloaded, we need to run Minecraft once to make sure Forge is working. So, go ahead and find Minecraft on your computer and launch it. Okay, so when you run Minecraft, you get to this launcher, you usually just click on play and you're good to go. But, hold up one second. We're gonna come over here to where it says profile. Right now it says Marshall, which is my name. We're gonna click on that and click on Forge, okay? This is the version of Forge that we just downloaded, all right? And in the bottom right, it should say, ready to play Minecraft 1.8 Forge or whatever version you selected. If it does say that, go ahead and click on play and it's going to download some stuff and install it for you. And then it's going to launch Minecraft and you'll notice this time when it launches, we have, uh, wait for this to disappear. We have this Forge thing going on in the bottom right, okay? That means Forge is running this time. And now in the Minecraft menu, there's a button now that says mods that wasn't there before. If you click on that, you'll see there's three mods installed. The Minecraft Coder Pack, the Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge itself. But our new mod's not anywhere in that list, okay? So we still need to install it. Let's go ahead and click on Done and Close out of Minecraft, all right? And we can find uh, that new file, that new uh, mod we downloaded in our Downloads folder, okay? So go to your Downloads folder. And in there you should see, this is my uh, mod I downloaded, LOM, stands for lots of mobs, okay? Find the mod you downloaded or the mod you brought home from Codekit or the mod you made yourself. It should be a .jar file. We're going to right click on it, select copy, okay? And we're gonna move it over to our mods folder. On Windows you can find that by clicking on this bar at the top, typing in percent, app, data, percent, and hitting enter, okay? Then there's a bunch of files on here, a bunch of folders. We're gonna double click on Minecraft, then double click on mods and we're going to right click and paste. And that's all it takes. Minecraft Forge is a very, very easy to use. So we're gonna close that and launch Minecraft again and this time we should have our mod. Okay, back in Minecraft, if I click on this mods button, you should now see your new mod installed. Mine says lots of mobs. Perfect, it worked. So jump into game and make sure that it's actually working. Let's test this real quick. And testing if each mod works is gonna be different for each mod, obviously, depending on what the mod adds or changes. But for mine, it adds lots of new mobs. So let's go to the miscellaneous tab. Is it in here? Yep, looks like I have an option for, let's see, I got a lot of different ones. Which one am I gonna try? I want to spawn a, ooh, there's a lot of options here. It adds new combat items, new foods, new regular items. Um, but I want to spawn something. I'm going to spawn just a boar. Let's see what that looks like. So I'll put them on the ground. And there we go. We have a brand new mob that's not in regular Minecraft. This is only with this awesome mob that I just downloaded. Let's see what else I can get in here. Oopsies. Uh, we got deer. We can try spawning an ant. I want to see what that looks like. Whoa, he's really tiny. Don't know what that adds to your game, but it's still pretty cool. We got a deer here. That's pretty neat looking. Got geckos. Ooh, I like geckos. Very cool. All right, so hope you guys have a lot of fun playing Minecraft with your brand new mods. It really does make it a new experience, okay? And you can download all sorts of mods that do all sorts of crazy, cool things. So next time you see a YouTuber playing an awesome mod, you'll know how to download and install that mod for yourself.
Thank you for watching our mod installation video. If you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and leave us a like so we know that you liked it. And if you want to see more content like this, more videos that show you how to make mods, how to install mods, more content about how mods work, how Minecraft works, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you know when our next video comes out. If you are interested in making your own mods, we have an online course that takes you through all the steps of making a mod. From the very beginning, just starting out, how do I program, all the way to the end where you've created a dozen mods. You can check that out at our website. I've put that link as well as all the other links for this video in the description below. Go ahead and leave us a comment if you want to give some feedback on how we can make these videos better or if you just want to say hello. My name is Marshall and thanks for watching.